County has had airports since the earliest part of the 20th century, when they were used for military training missions or to fly those looking to invest in our community from Miami and other parts of Florida. Since 1993, the Collier County Airport Authority has maintained three county airports, the Marco Island Executive Airport, the Immokalee Regional Airport, and the Everglades Air Park. Each plays an important role in the economic development and growth of our county. Whether you are looking for the red carpet treatment, an airport that will put you on the doorstep of the Everglades, or between Naples and Miami, Collier County Airports have something for you. Let's discover and explore Collier County's airports. Let's take a look at the Marco Island Executive Airport. The Marco Island Executive Airport was initially designed to complement plans of creating a resort area south of Naples. Following its completion in 1976, the airport was primarily used as a marketing tool to help sell Marco Island lots. Developers would fly prospective homeowners and investors over from Miami. Eventually, developers turned the airport over to the state, and in the 1980s, the state leased it to the county. The Airport Authority was created in 1993 to develop and manage the airport. The airport's 5,000-foot runway is situated near Naples, Marco Island, Goodland, and the Isles of Capri. Airport staff provides personal service to all customers and arranges for ground transportation and local reservations upon request. The airport is home to Raven Air, which provides scheduled airline service to Key West. Island Hopper's Aerial Adventures, which provides private air charter service and helicopter tours through the Florida Keys and South Florida, and Aviation North, which provides air charter tours to Key West and Marathon, among other destinations, and several flight schools where you can learn to fly. The airport also serves AV gas and jet fuel, offers car rentals, a pilot's lounge, and full service ground support equipment. The airport is also home to the Marco Island Squadron of the Civil Air Patrol, which serves as the official civilian auxiliary for the United States Air Force, performing key missions that include emergency services, search and rescue missions, and disaster relief operations. In the last few years, the Marco Island Executive Airport has undergone several expansion projects. The 5,000 foot by 100 foot runway on Mainsail Drive underwent a complete rehabilitation that included 12 inches of subgrade material, a six inch lime rock base, and layers of asphalt on top. In 2012, the Florida Department of Transportation named the Marco Island Executive Airport Parallel Taxiway and Northwest Apron Expansion Project, the winner of the General Aviation Airport Project of the Year Award. The project consisted of constructing a new taxiway and apron. The Florida Department of Transportation estimates the Marco Island Executive Airport has a local total economic impact of more than $27.6 million. Let's take a look at the Immokalee Regional Airport. The Immokalee Regional Airport is situated on 1,333 acres of land about 35 miles northeast of Naples and 110 miles northwest of the Port of Miami. The airport boasts two runways that can accommodate a variety of aircraft, including small, single-engine Cessnas and corporate business jets. Originally built as a World War II bomber training base, the Federal Surplus Act eventually turned the airport over to the county in the 1960s, where it sat dormant for about 35 years. After its creation in 1993, the Collier County Airport Authority drew up plans for the site, including extensive designs to expand the runways, bring in cargo-carrying businesses, and turn some of the land into an industrial park. Over time, the original plans have changed to suit the burgeoning airfield, but long-term goals remain the same to turn the old airfield into a viable industrial park that would attract manufacturing businesses that will hire and train local workers, and to contribute new and vital industry into the local economy. The airport serves the rural Immokalee area and its bustling Seminole Casino. It also serves the growing Ave Maria, an unincorporated community founded in 2005 that is now home to Ave Maria University. The airport is in a designated Florida Rural Enterprise Zone and Hub Empowerment Zone. The Florida Rural Enterprise Program supports economic revitalization in high unemployment or otherwise economically disadvantaged areas within the state by offering tax incentives to businesses located within the zones. Some of these businesses include Salazar Machine and Steel, which manufactures agricultural equipment, a jet turbine testing facility, and a plantation window shutters manufacturer. 
Additionally, a 60-acre zone in and around the airport is a designated foreign trade zone, which offers companies the convenience of deferring any duties or taxes until the business ships the goods out of the foreign trade zone. Plans are currently underway to develop the second of Collier County's economic accelerators, focusing on agribusiness and the culinary industry, in a building on the airport property. Recently, the Immokalee Airport underwent a $6.6 million runway rehabilitation. Other airport improvements include airfield lighting, grading and drainage improvements, additional fencing, improvements of the taxiway connectors, and decoupling two runways. The airport is also used for aerial firefighting and crop dusting operations, which help the local citrus industry, and is home to IHRA-sanctioned weekend drag racing. Let's explore the Everglades Air Park. The smallest of Collier County's airfields, the Everglades Air Park is situated on 30 acres surrounded by environmentally sensitive protected lands. The Air Park is located southwest of the Big Cypress National Preserve and is surrounded on three sides by the waters of Everglades National Park. The Fakahatchee Strand State Preserve and the Collier Seminole State Park are to the north. The Air Park was built by the Collier Brothers in the 1940s when Everglades City was home to the county seat and a host of businesses. Initially, the runway was a thousand foot paved strip with 500 feet of grass at either end. The airport was used by the Civil Air Patrol and frequented by the Air Force in addition to private pilots. President Harry Truman was on hand to dedicate the National Park at the airport in December of 1947. Hurricane Donna, which swept through the area on September 9, 1960, destroyed the hangar, office, fuel station, and much of the development. Soon after, the Collier family moved their businesses to Naples, as did the county seat. Collier County purchased the Everglades Air Park from the Colliers for $125,000 in 1968 and maintained the property until the airport authority was created to operate the air park in 1993. The air park is now known as the county's ecotourism airport and is a destination for vacationers and outdoor enthusiasts who come to fish, boat, camp, and explore the beauty of the Everglades. The Gulf Visitor Center and National Park Ranger Station, located within walking distance of the air park, provide canoe rentals, tour boats, and docks for itinerant boats. The airport is also home to Wings Aero Tours, which provides seasonal air charter and aerial tours throughout the 10,000 Islands, Everglades National Park, and the Florida Keys. The Florida Department of Transportation estimates the impact of the airport to be just over $1 million annually. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of Collier County's airports. For more information, visit the county's website, www.colliergov.net.